So today we're in Job chapter 7. We're kind of in the midst of that ongoing saga of Job's suffering. Listen to the opening verses here in chapter 7 where he says, Is there not a time of hard service for man on earth? Are not his days also like the days of a hired man, like a servant who earnestly desires the shade, and like a hired man who eagerly looks for his wages? And what he's saying is this. He says, In the midst of my suffering, in the midst of this trial, I'm like a slave. He goes day and night, night and day, suffering. Just there's there's no reward for this. I'm in the midst of it, and it's difficult, and it's hard, and I'm like a slave, like a hired servant. So he's struggling, so he's suffering. And then he says this, listen to verse 17. He says, what is man, speaking to the Lord, obviously, that you should exalt him, that you should set your heart on him, that you should visit him every morning, and test him every moment. He, he, in the midst of his suffering, he, he still says, God, what, what is man that you would even think about him, that you would, and he, he puts it in those terms, set your heart on him. Job realizes that even though God has put him in the midst of this difficult time, that still God has his hand on him, that God cares about him, that God's with him. And this is an amazing thing for Job to say in the midst of his dilemma, in the midst of his struggle, that God knows we're in the midst of it. And, and let me just say this, listen, tune in, that God knows when you're going through suffering. And, and who are we that God should even set his heart on us? And Job realizes this and he, he, he makes a profound statement, even in the midst of his suffering, that God's heart is, is, is on him, that he, that he thinks about him, but he still is struggling through the whole thing. And who doesn't struggle in the midst of difficult times. But Job reminds us, and there's this kind of glimmer of hope in the midst of chapter seven, that even though he's going through it, he doesn't understand it, he can't comprehend it, he feels like a slave, a hired man, there's no escape. He says, God, still I wonder, what is it about man that you set your heart on him? And I think there's a glimmer of hope in that statement as you and I, as Job, as we all walk through different times and struggles and difficulties, God, well, he set his eye on us and his heart for us. And as we go through, as we traffic through the book of Job, we'll see this phenomenal ending because always and every day, God has his heart set on mankind.